What's up guys, it's Cookie Junkie here, back with another mod spotlight. Today I'm going over the simple admin GUI mod, plugin, should I say, which is by iFits. I think I've said that right, but everyone has weird usernames, don't they? And if you're a server owner like myself, or you, you know, if you've got a private server, a public server, it doesn't really matter, and you're sick of typing out those commands like slash time day, slash time set zero, slash weather sun, or do you know what I mean? All these kind of basic commands like heal and stuff, and you want a simple one click solution, then this is this is really the the plugin for you. Now, this mod did just start about four days ago on the 20th, was it the 20th of April 2013? Yeah, it was 20th of April. And uh, yes, it's, it's really new, it's really good, and there are going to be a lot more things getting introduced, which I'll go over a bit later. So, all you do to get this to work is just drag that jar file that you can download from the link in the description, and put it in the plugins folder of your server. Then on your server, if you type slash M, or slash menu, and click enter, you'll get this sort of weird uh, interface. And um, if you have a look through it, you can change the uh, your uh, survival or creative mode by clicking on one of these. So obviously I'm in creative now. If I click on survival, it will change my mode. All I did was left click on that and it did it for me. And as you can tell, I'm now in survival. So if I type slash M and go back to creative, same thing. If I do slash M again, I can change the, well, I can heal myself, I can give myself a Master Sword, which is, uh, if I just show you that now, I can have a look at this and see what enchantments it's got. It's Sharpness, Punch and Fire Respect, so it's pretty pretty good. Um, and do Slash him again. And obviously heals yourself, it's mandatory, isn't it? Uh, you can set the time today, so if I click on that, boom, Sam so set today. Do Slash him again, I can set it to night if I click on this. I can um, make it sun. I can't make it rain, but I don't really know why you'd want to. Uh, self destruction, that's pretty cool. I'll show you that in a bit when I'm not at my spawn. <laughs> and uh, server reload, so that's obviously just slash reload, and it just makes all the plugins reload. Which, if you're if you've been installing loads of plugins, then uh, you'll know what that's like having to reload it all the time. No, just ditch that sword. So if we go over to this tree, this innocent looking tree over here where we started, and do slash m. And then click self destruction. As you might expect, it just kind of explodes and you do die no matter what world you're in, which is a little bit silly, but yeah, I can see why. Uh... So that just basically turns you into a creeper, really. And if we're going to have a look, it does do wild damage, so be careful. That's kind of my advice, really. Uh, don't do this in someone's house or something stupid. And um, I had a look on the. Well, that's pretty much it to start with but I did have a look on the bucket page when I was downloading it and the guy has got a lot planned for it is it planning on making a GUI creator so like a GUI in case you don't know is just a graphic user interface GUI obviously and uh, this just basically means this sort of area here where you see all these now he's making a it so you can customize it more so hopefully we'll be able to add our own items in and stuff i would really like to see personally i would like to see a hotkey instead of having to type slash m so instead of doing that you could just press um something which didn't use like p for argument's sake and it would come up with that and you'd be away because then you don't even have to type a command in it just come up with that uh, so yeah that would be really nice although i don't think that's actually possible unless you mod the minecraft client so um, if you can do that please do that and um, that would be epic but if you can't then fair enough uh, something that he's introducing though is um teleports so there'll be sort of a teleportation thing in there i don't really know how that's going to work because obviously you're gonna have to choose the player so maybe when you go into this menu there'll be like a teleport thing here or underneath it and you click on it and then it's like a playlist of everyone on the server and you can do that i think that would be really good um the sort of the sword thing i think that'll probably be customized in the future which will be pretty interesting and um, hopefully there'll be just you, you can just assign things to it that you want to do so maybe like a command like that's not native so say if you had wilded it and you do slash slash um copy a lot and uh, maybe you can have that set to something and um yeah that would make that would just make everything a lot quicker to be honest and i really really do like this one i think it's going to be really good when um it's been updated to the point where you can just 
do whatever commands you want. So that's been pretty much it for this video. I hope you've liked it. It's been really short. I didn't want to make it too long, but I think this mod has great potential, and I'm really going to look forward to um, seeing what seeing what's developed. And I'll keep everyone updated. If you uh, if you've got any questions or anything, please feel free to ask. All the download links you'll need will be in the description below, so go and check that out, including the bucket server. And obviously, I'll link the bucket page to this mod because it's absolutely fantastic. Please um, like this video if you've got this and stuff, and you think it's a good mod. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, and if you want to come on this server, which is actually my server, yeah, I'll put the IP for that in the description as well. So later, guys.